Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Arana. Today is the 3rd of May 2019. We're going to reflect on John chapter 14, 6 to 14. Listen. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, but if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact, will do greater works than these because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. There is not a single human being on this earth, whether we admit to it or not, who does not have a sense that there is something bigger than us out there, something greater. We know that this something is what many refer to as God or gods who has great power. Over the centuries, there have been as many gods as there have been civilizations with a great many names. The ancient Greeks were no exception. They had a pantheon of gods, each responsible for something, from love to war and everything in between. And to ensure they didn't offend any god by inadvertently leaving one out, that erected an altar that said, to an unknown god. During a visit to Athens, the Apostle Paul used this as an opportunity to share the one true god. He explained that this unknown God was the biblical God. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in temples built by human hands and he is not served by human hands as if he needed anything. Rather, he himself gives everyone life and breath and everything else. Paul told them this in Acts chapter 17. Because they were unable to find God, although they were searching for him, he came down for them. Of course, many sneered, but some recognized the truth and accepted Jesus as God. It is the same thing today. Jesus' message goes out to everybody. I am the way, the truth, and the life. He says, no one comes to the Father except through me. And then he continues, if you know me, you will know my Father also. But how can we get to know Jesus, especially if we have other faith paradigms? I often tell people to do what I did in a jail cell one day. Having lost everything I had, I was considering death as the only logical option left to me when a fellow prisoner told me to turn to Jesus. Disbelieving but desperate for some hope, I cried out in that cell, Jesus, if you really exist, help me. And he did. He showed me in more ways than one that he was real. So if you want to know Jesus, do the same. Just keep your heart open and he will do the rest because he is real and he is God. May he bless you.